Hi everyone, it's Smita. Welcome back. Today I'm going to be using some of my favorite products from Rare Beauty to create this look. These products I consider the best of the best of Rare Beauty. I'm going to be showing you each product and telling you why I particularly like these products. I'm not paid to say this or make this video. Rare Beauty didn't approach me. I bought many of the products myself, although Rare Beauty had sent me a couple of products at the very beginning. But I'm doing this video so you can make an informed decision if you're planning to buy something from Rare Beauty. Having said that, let's begin. Rare Beauty has two different primers and my personal favorite is always an Optimist Pore Diffusing Primer. I like this primer because while it's hydrating, it also gives that cushiony gel kind of a feel on the skin and it blurs out all the pores and fine lines. I've used it by itself, I've used it with foundations, I've used it with tinted moisturizers and time and again it gives me that flawless skin and look. It is so light and feels like you have nothing on your skin so I absolutely love this product. For foundation there's only one type but I still love it. It's the Liquid Touch Weightless Foundation and I'm using the shade 360W. There is an applicator so I'm going to use that to dot it around my face and neck and I'm going to blend it out with a foundation brush from the drugstore. This is a medium to buildable full coverage foundation but still gives you that natural look. It's not cakey, it is a liquid formula and it says it's best suited for oily combination or normal skin although I have dry skin and it still looks fabulous. While it feels weightless and it feels like nothing on the skin, it still covers the imperfections and those are the kind of foundations that I personally go for. Same goes for concealer as well. I'm going to be using the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer and I'm in the shade 330N. Now this concealer is lightweight, it's hydrating, it's cake free, it gives you medium to full coverage and is definitely brightening and radiant. It blends like a dream but what I would ask you to do is leave it on for about a minute and then blend it out when it's a little bit tacky that way it gives you more coverage rather than blending it immediately that's when the sponge absorbs it more. It comes in so many different shades, which is fantastic. Again, you can use an online community or Red Beauty for help before choosing your shade. And it also photographs beautifully because it doesn't look cakey. I've used this on several occasions and every time my skin looks flawless. Now I'm going to cheat a little bit here. Red Beauty doesn't have a powder, but if I don't set my concealer with powder, it tends to crease. So I'm going to be using a little bit of the Lottie London powder to just set around my eyes. But what they do have is the Blot and Glow Powder Puff. It looks like this. It's a powder puff. So you can use this around your face to do touch-ups and uh, that'll also absorb some of the excess foundation that's sitting on the top layer. And then to lock everything in, I'm going to be using the Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Prime and Set Mist. You can also use this as a primer, but I prefer this more as a setting mist. While this locks your makeup in, it's also going to melt any powders that are sitting on the surface. Of course, I don't have much powder today, but if you do, it's going to melt that and give you a more skin-like finish. For brows, I'm going to be using the Brow Harmony Pencil in Cool Brown. This also comes with a brow gel in the back. Although I love pencils with micro tips because it's very easy to draw hair like strokes, what I love about this pencil is it gives you a very natural finish. It is a triangular shaped retractable pencil with the gel in the back. Now you can use the gel after using the pencil to give that extra oomph or you can use the gel by itself to give you that natural finish without the pencil. My personal favorite eyeshadow palette from Rare Beauty is the Discovery palette because this has a good mix of mattes, shimmers, sparkle and a glitter right in the center and that is a beautiful pressed glitter. With a large elf brush, I'm going to dip into Genuine and this is going to be my transition shade. I'm going to start dabbing it in the outer corner as well as the crease. This is actually an elf concealer brush which I use for blending. I love the way it buffs it out. the same brush I'm going to dip into Undeniable and I'm going to use this to deepen the outer corner. And then with a flat fluffy brush I'm going to smoke it out in my lower lash line. These eyeshadows are buttery and they blend like a dream and that's why I like to use larger brushes because it gets done so quickly.
Next, with the same flat fluffy brush, I'm going to dip into Loyal and I'm going to deepen the outer corner just a tad bit, pulling some of that color towards the center of the lid. With a flat shader brush, I'm going to dip into Positive and use it in the inner third, creating a soft cut crease. To fill in that gap in the middle, I'm going to be using Passionate. With the same flat shader brush, I'm going to apply directly to the center of the lid. Course, I had to use that gorgeous glitter it's called accepting and it is a pressed glitter and I'm going to very lightly use it on top of passionate that I used right in the center of the lid I've said this before but one of my favorite eyeliners is the perfect strokes matte liquid liner this is long lasting and waterproof this is highly pigmented and gives you that dramatic definition every single time and with this I'm going to pull out a small wing and line my top lash line Then I'm using the shade positive again to highlight my brow bones. Now I didn't know Rare Beauty had a mascara. I do not have it so I'm going to be cheating again with the CoverGirl mascara. But when I get my hands on that Rare Beauty mascara, I'm definitely going to give you a review. And for lashes, I'm going to be using the Good Lashes in Infinite 3. And here is the completed eye look. Now let's finish the rest of the face. For blush, I'm going to be using the Soft Pinch Liquid Blush in Grateful, which is a beautiful, true red color. And when it goes up on your cheeks, it gives you that beautiful hue of rosiness. There's another shade that I absolutely love called Joy, and that is a dewy muted peach. It gives you a more natural finish. So depending on the kind of occasion that I'm using it for, I will either use Joy or Grateful. And for that beautiful inner goddess glow, I'm going to be using the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer Highlighter in the shade Enlighten. I'm going to take a little bit in the back of my hand and use it on the high points of my face. This is definitely not an in-your-face highlighter. Rather, it looks very natural. It's silky. It's almost like your second skin. It creates that lasting, soft, luminous finish. I like to use the puff again to go around my face that way the excess is absorbed by it and it also gives you again that natural skin like finish. Rare Beauty has some wonderful lip shades and one of my favorites is Fearless. This is a lip souffle matte cream. This particular shade is a deep mauve rose color and complements any skin tone beautifully. It's so universal and it's also very comfortable on the lips. And this is a lip cream. So although it gives you that rich color, it gives you that air whipped feel to your lips. So it feels like nothing on the lips and it's very comfortable. One of my subscribers wanted to see how I looked if I side parted my hair. So here it is. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Let me know which ones are your favorite from Rare Beauty. I would love to try those. If you're new here, please consider subscribing. I post several times a week and let me know what you'd like to watch next. Do check out the description box for all the products that I use today. And don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I love you guys so much and I will see you soon with a brand new one. Bye guys. Oh,